Well, the moonshot is supposed to um, help Europe generate AI that is trustworthy. Uh, it cannot be trustworthy if it doesn't comply with a number of characteristics. This is something that is European in nature because it's the result of a reflection that has taken place in Europe, uh, in particular in the context of the high-level expert group on AI that worked between 2018 and 2020. Trustworthy AI is essentially uh, AI that complies with legislation, and legislation incorporates many uh, values and principles of the European Union. Trustworthy AI is also um, ethically aligned, in particular when it comes to fairness, when it comes to non-discrimination, when it comes to the prevention of harm, the respect for human autonomy, which is also very important, the agency of individuals and collectives, and also in terms of accountability and explainability of AI systems. Uh, all these are elements that we don't see reflected in the way in which AI is developed in other parts of the world, and in particular the dominant AI systems that we see emerging uh, around the world. We'll talk about generative AI, but in practice what we're seeing is a sort of new speak, if you want. We see that there are a limited number, like a, less than a fistful of large-scale foundational AI models that are becoming much more powerful than the others. They are not Europeans, and they don't necessarily follow European values. They actually massively violate copyright or, uh, in some cases, privacy. What do we do with that? In most cases, we become users or deployers of these systems. Well, we dance on their drummer, if you wish. We follow their rhythm and their pattern and their choices in the design and in their way to approach risks. So what is the moonshot about is to leverage Europe's values, principles and talent in research in order to get to an embedding of AI in society which is human-centric and respectful of our values and principles. It means not discriminating, not creating inequalities, orienting AI towards societal and environmental well-being. It's basically treating AI as a means and not an end. At the moment, this is not what's happening. If you look at the investment in AI around the world, a lot of the investment goes in the direction of uh, so-called artificial general intelligence or uh, singularity with the idea that uh, we have to curb or mitigate the risk that uh, mankind will, be, will go extinct because AI will take over. This is all uh, nonsensical to a large extent from a, a, um, a research perspective. What we don't see is all the uses of AI to protect the climate, uh, biodiversity, to um, uh, generate uh, solutions for what, whatever, pandemic preparedness, uh, for the protection of human rights, to empower humans, to educate humans further, to include everyone in a more prosperous future, all these applications are not receiving sufficient investment. So my desire for the moonshot is that we develop trustworthy AI for the future and we look at the good use cases of AI, at AI for good, not at uh, the hype of the moment.